hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am going to show you how to create a baseline classification model so i've already gone ahead and prepared my data and split it into training and test data sets and we can get a preview of the data here this data set is for wine quality right so we are trying to predict the quality of wine and these are the features of the wine that we are going to be using to predict um, the quality. So that's just a preview of the data. So basically, in a nutshell, um, when you say baseline, you are basically saying that what would I predict the outcome of the wine quality to be without running my data set, my data frame through any models like a classification model or a regression model so for a regression problem the mean can be used as the baseline and for a that's for a regression problem for a classification problem the mode the mode can be used as a baseline basically the mode is the item that occurs the most often so with this basic background information let's go ahead and look at our baseline model if I go ahead and do import statistics, statistics is a Python module. Then to get um, the baseline classification or the baseline prediction, we can simply do statistics dot mode, and then we do parentheses y train, or we can do mode on the whole data frame too. So six, and even if we do this on just um, the training data, it will give us similar results. Again, um, the prediction is six. So basically six is the item that occurs the most often in our training data, which is um, quality wine quality. But then, so if we predict this to be our mode or our baseline, we still need to calculate the accuracy. So we want to know how accurate our baseline prediction is. And the, one of the reasons why it's good to establish a baseline is that once you start working on other models, you want to have a baseline to compare it to, to see if your model is good or not, or if your model is improving. And if you're working on a regression problem, you use regression metrics. If you're working on a classification problem, you use classification metrics. So in this situation, I'm just using um, accuracy as my classification metric. So from sklearn.metrics, import accuracy score. So let's just go ahead and do widespread base. Is equal to actually let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put our mode in a variable and let's call it our guess because that's really what we're doing here guessing our guess is equal to statistics dot mode of our y train right so our prediction is going to be our guess times the length of y test and the reason why we do this is so that we can use this guess to get an accuracy score and if i go ahead and copy this and put this here you can have get a preview of what it looks like so it's basically the same number times the length of our y test and this step is just so that it will be in a format that we can use it with accuracy score so we can be like score is equal to accuracy score and then the first thing you provide is your true value and your true value here is y test and y pred base is our predicted value so we can um do print f string letter accuracy score to the zero decimal and let's have a percentage sign there and Let's multiply this by 100 so it comes out as a percentage so basically our accuracy score our baseline accuracy score 
is 45%. Okay. So now when we build a logistic regression model or a rich classification model, right, we'll be able to compare the result of our logistic regression or random forest classifier to our baseline. So let me go ahead and also copy this and um, do baseline prediction. It's not really a prediction, it's more like a guess. But let's just call this prediction is equal to guess. We do not need to multiply it by 100 or around it. So basically, just to clarify again, what we are saying right here is that without using any data at all, what are we going to predict the wine quality is going to be? We are going to predict the wine quality is going to be 6. So that's basically it in a nutshell. That is how you would... Um, do a baseline classification model. Well, it's not really a model. Like that's how you get a baseline class, a baseline metric and baseline prediction for your project. And you can find me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I create data science blog posts. And as time goes by, I'm going to create more and more data science blog posts. And to get access to this notebook. You can go to machinelearningeducation.com. This is we are this is a platform that I created where I put all my data science resources. And once you are here, if you click on this, it will also bring you to this page. And once you sign up here, you'll be able to get access to this notebook and other notebooks. I create a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of blog posts and a lot of tutorial content. I just find it easier to take all my resources and put it in one place under one platform i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it give it a double thumbs up double thumbs down and say subscribe to the channel i will talk to you in the next video bye